Welcome to the 2021 USA Running Circuit Half Marathon Championships. This is the final stop on the USA Running Circuit. final road race national championship of the year. Beautiful weather for you today here in South Carolina. Mid 50s, no wind, just perfect running conditions. Got a great field assembled for you guys today. Got the debut of BYU standout, and recent NCAA cross country champ Connor Mance, now representing Nike. Also in the field, Sam Chalenga, Leonard Career, Futsum Zenisalasi, Nico Montanez, Erica Villa. Augustus Mayo, Sydney Gitabuti, Frank Lara, some very uh, mainstay names on the road running circuit. Of note today, uh, there's some commentary about the attempt uh, that's going to be made on Ryan Hall's American record. Got the one roundabout here in the course. Created just a little bit of separation amongst the runners. And now we're gonna be doing three loops on this Criterion style road race course. Up front we got Augustus Mayo. Coming up on the mile, or no, nope, that's the 20K mark <laughs> going backwards. Uh, up front, we got Augustus Mayo, Connor Mance, Sam Chalanga, Erica Villa is around fourth or fifth. And we're approaching the one mile. Right around, right around 439. American record pace is 4.33, so we're just slightly off that. Perhaps some early race just feeling each other out. And that, that first U-turn. So up front we still uh, have Connor Mance, Augustus Mayo. Augustus looking for somebody to come up in the middle here and help out. Looks like Connor's kind of taking control of the race. It's pretty standard for Connor to be leading. Today making his road racing debut, his half marathon debut, USA running circuit debut. Nike debut, a lot of debuts today for Connor. But not debuting a different running style. This is this is standard Connor Mance just out in front. Looks very relaxed, but also just keeping that strong pace. So now up front we've got Connor Mance, right behind him is Lowie Lalang, 
than Augustus Mayo and Sam Chalanga and Lenny Career from uh, WCAP in Colorado Springs all together. Just on the outside on the right there, you see Sydney get a booty. Erica Villa is tucked in about 6th or 7th right behind the pink jersey. I'm sorry, we don't have an identifier on that pink jersey. Eric kind of poking his self out there on the left in the Adidas kit. And right in front of Eric is uh, Nico Montagna's and Asics and the sunglasses. Coming up on the two mile split here shortly. And to be on American record pace, we'll be wanting to come through that two mile in about 9.06. And we're at 918. They're about five or six seconds slow each of the first two miles to be on pace, but they're being consistent. 439 back to back miles for them. And on a very flat course, it won't be tough to make up some of that time. It's a very forgiving course. We, Looking at the elevation profile of the course, it looks very jagged. It looks very up and down and mountainous, but it, it varies only about 10 feet from any one point on the course. Got a lead pack of about 20, about 15 to 20 runners. It's definitely uh, begun separating itself from the rest of the field. Maybe about 12, maybe about 12 runners still in this lead pack. Connor Mance out front. Lowy Lalang tucked in right behind him. Sam Chalenga, Augustus Mayo. It's a relaxed enough pace that we still do have 14 guys running together. But it's just, just a strong enough pace that we're not running three or four wide up front. Connor very content to be in the lead. And Sam Chalenga and Lowy Lalang tucked in right behind. Now it looks like Sam Gonna step up right side by side with Connor. Clearing an upper on the pink jersey. Think the name is too small to read. Yeah, too too small. Okay. All right, now uh, we've looks like Connor's settled settled back in just a touch. Uh, he doesn't have one step on the field anymore, but uh, side by side with Sammy Chalenga. We're probably somewhere around two and a half miles. Lowy Lalang tucked in right behind. In third, Augustus Mayo in fourth. As Nico Montanez right around fifth. And Sydney Gidabuti right there in uh, sixth or seventh. We're coming up on the 5K now. A little early surprise here, I guess. Not not a huge surprise, but Eric Avia, uh, you know, dropping back. He's fallen off the lead pack now. He won the road racing circuit. 
1427 at the 5K. Sorry to interrupt my commentary to get that split, but 1427 at the 5K. Again, to be on to be on the record pace, we needed to be more at like 1409. So we're pretty much staying very consistent at six seconds a mile off this pace. But I don't think that I don't think we're gonna have a great shot at making that up if if no one's willing to kind of help push this pace. If it's gonna be a one-man show, I'm not sure we're gonna quite get that today. That would be a heck of a debut <laughs> for Connor if if he is gonna be doing all the work and pushing towards that record. But if someone else is gonna be just sitting on Connor and using him to try to propel themselves to the record, they're gonna have to engage a little quicker pace here in the next couple miles. It's not impossible to make up 18 seconds, you know, a couple seconds a mile over the next 10 miles of the race. But they're gonna have to be picking up their pace by about eight to 10 seconds per mile to make that possible. Looks like this front pack of now about 10 to 12 is just just uh, strung out enough that it doesn't look like it's a hugely comfortable pace for everybody. We're still only about two people wide. Connor Mance up front, Lauia Lang in second. Sam Chalanga right behind Connor in third. Augustus Mayo right behind Chalanga in fifth. Sydney get a booty. All right, Morgan Pearson now in the lead at four miles. We came through four miles at 1840. Morgan Pearson leading. He's a standout triathlete. He's now taking the lead and tucked in right behind him is Connor Mance. And still uh, Lowy Lalang and Sam Chalanga in three and four. Gus DeSmayo in five. Looks like Sydney get a booty in, in seventh. Frank, Frank Lara in sixth. Frank tucked in right in the middle. The white singlet and the mustache. Morgan Pearson looking for some help up front. Just trying to help inject the pace. And laughing, a la little laughing between Morgan Pearson and Lowy Lalang as Pearson tried to inject some pace but wants some people to go with him. Now Connor Mance right back to the front, assuming the front again. I don't know, maybe Morgan sensed that it was a little slow to try and get the, you know, to be on the American record pace. Maybe he wanted to help do a little bit of work to wake the group up and. Put a little work in for a quarter mile or so, trying to help the pace. All right, getting ready to start loop two here, and up front we still got Connor Mance. And Morgan Pearson on the outside up front in the salmon-colored singlet. 
He was a silver medalist at the 2020 Olympic Games in the triathlon in the mixed relay event. Ran at the University of Colorado. Now he's tucking back in farther in the pack. Uh, we got Connor Mance up front, Sammy, or sorry, Lowy Lalang in second, Sid Sydney Gitabude in third, and then Army teammates Augustus Mayo. and Sammy Chalenga and Career tucked in in four, five, six with looks like Frank Lara right there in the middle. I see the head of Futsum Zenesalase bobbing in and out there. He's tucked in in about eighth. And then Morgan Pearson in what looks like ninth now. And Nico Montagna is in 10th. So on the line today also is the overall USA running circuit prize money. The top five runners in the overall circuit will get uh, prize money as, as allocated by USATF. First place is pretty much wrapped up by Abba Bia Simbasa. He's not racing here today. He's got such a commanding lead in the circuit that he will take that overall $20,000 check, but second place, third place, fourth place, and fifth place all have a lot of, lot of money to be won today. Second place overall in the circuit is going to earn $15,000, and Sammy, Ch Sammy Chalanga is probably most poised to get that. Sammy's got to play sixth or higher today. If Sammy places six or higher, he's likely going to move into that second place overall on the running circuit. Should be a big payday for him. But also in contention for top five standing in the ro running circuit, we've got several people. Lawi Lalang, if he gets first or second today, he's got a chance to move into that top five. Sydney Gidibuti. Also, if he gets first, second, or third, has a chance to be moving into that top five for overall prize money. Frank Lara, as long as he stays in the top four. Futsum Zenesalase likely needs a first, second, or third to really have a chance in that top five. Gustus Mayo, Eric Avia, uh, if they gotta get first, second, or third. Nico Montanez. You know, he's, he's poised to move up at least into the top five, and with a really good finish today, he could find himself third or second overall. So a lot of overall prize money on the line today, as well as the individual race prize money for being the half marathon champion or top 10 finisher today. So Connor Mance leading, Lawi Lalang on his shoulder, Sydney Gitabuti into third, Augustus Mayo in fourth, Morgan Pearson in fifth, Sammy Chalanga sixth, Frank and Nico in seventh and eighth, Augustus Mayo ninth, Futsum Zenesalase in tenth. Clayton Young, the 15K champ. And Clayton Young, the 15K champ. Looks like he's in the top 10 as well. Is that bib 235? Okay, yeah, bib, bib 235 is uh, Clayton. Correct. Uh, and then right behind that is Eric Hamer from the BAA and Joel Reichow from Minnesota District Leader. So Eric Hamer from BAA in about 11th and uh, Eric Hamer. Uh, that's Eric. Hamer. Eric Hamer from in 11th and Joel Reichow from Minnesota. Joel Reichow from Minnesota in 12th. And that's your, that is your top pack that's we are down to 12. About 27 minutes into the race now. Hamer is an All-American from Colorado State. Eric Hamer, a Colorado State Ram All-American. Right behind a top 10 finish, Hank Kilmaier. 
And Raikau had a top 10 finish at the 10 miler. So up front, now got Lowey Lalang side by side with Connor Mance. And we're coming up on the six mile mark. So passing six miles, right at 28 flat. The last two miles have each been 439, so pretty consistent in that. 28 flat, we are just over 61 flat pace. So the American record is going to live for a little bit longer. We're still on a very respectable 61 flat pace for the group and it's been very consistent and Connor Mance, Lowy Lalang, Sydney Gittibuti, Gustus Mayo, Sam Chalanga, there's your top five. Morgan Pearson in sixth, Nico Montanez, Frank Lara, seventh, eighth, Lenny Career, ninth, Futsum Zenesalase in tenth. Doing a little bit of zigzagging here on the road as we're trying to run some of the tangents. People settling right back in nicely into their position. Essentially running two by two. Connor Mance up front. And then side by side, Lowy Lalang and Sydney Gittibuti. Morgan Pearson now sliding into fourth alongside Augustus Mayo in fifth. And then in uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth, side by side, it looks like we got Nico Montanez. Futsum Zenesalase and Sammy Chalanga. Frank Lara tucked in right behind them in ninth. Lenny Career and Clayton Young in 10th and 11th. Very consistent group. Been hitting 439s pretty much the entire race to this point. Coming up on mile seven. Hitting mile seven at 440, 440 at 3240 overall. Connor Mance separating himself by about three, three meters there at the water break, as tends to happen as everyone's trying to separate just a little bit to have a clean path to get in some water. Uh, Connor Mance uh, right behind him, Lowy Lalang, Morgan Pearson. Augustus Mayo in fourth, Sammy Chalanga in fifth. For the first time, probably seeing a little bit of strain out of Lowy Lalang. Don't know if that little water separation was a little bit of a surge by Connor Mance. He looks, looks a little more intent in his facial expression. And it is stringing out just a little bit now, actually. So I, I feel like we might have a little bit of an injection of pace here. Yeah, you can see the faces of uh, the guys behind him. Everyone is reacting a little bit to this. So it's a little surge here by Connor Mance, Lowy Lalang in second,
Morgan Pearson in third, their single file now. Fourth and fifth, Augustus Mayo and Sammy Chalenga. Futsum Zena Salase in sixth. Nico Montanez in seventh. Sydney Gitabuti in eighth. Frank Lara, Nico in ninth and tenth. And Here's your top 10 at the moment. Mile eight, pass through in 440. And we still got Connor Mance leading. Morgan Pearson in second. Lowy Lelang side by side with him. Just about five miles to go now and this top pack has whittled down to 10. Over the course of the last couple miles, we lost uh, Eric Hamer, formerly of Colorado State, now with BAA, and Joel Reichow. And Joel Reichow. So we are down to the top 10 with both Joel and Eric now a solid 100 yards back. Top 10 will earn prize money today. So at this point, it's five miles to the payday for these guys. For some of them looking for that road racing circuit overall standings points as well. Try and get into that top five for the overall road racing circuit prize money. USATF provides about $40,000 to each gender on the road circuit for the overall standings as well as all the prize money awarded throughout the year. Since the road circuits started in the mid-90s, USATF's provided over $7 million to distance runners through the road circuit. Making the turn to begin the final loop. And we've still got Connor Mance leading, Morgan Pearson and Lowy Lalang second and third side by side Sammy Chalanga Augustus Mayo fourth and fifth and we got a little conversation up front Connor Mance Morgan Pearson probably discussing whether Provo or Boulder is the better running tradition now Connor asking for a little help that's what he was doing and Morgan Pearson obliging. So Morgan Pearson now taking over the lead for a little bit. Morgan solidly to the lead, you know, by a couple steps, but just taking some of the pressure off the front for Connor, who's been up there most of the race. We got Morgan Pearson leading, Connor Mance in second, Lowy Lalang in third, Augustus Mayo and Sammy Chalanga fourth and fifth. Nico Montanez in looks like sixth. And looks like Sydney Gidabude is now falling off the pack. So Sydney's Sydney's the first of the 10 to separate back. He's now about 20 yards back. So now a front lead pack of nine. Morgan Pearson, Connor Mance, Lowy Lalang, Sammy Chalanga, Augustus Mayo, Nico Montanez, uh, 
Lenny Career, Clayton Young, and Frank Lara. There's your top nine. Mile nine, 439. So very, very consistent for this group. 439. I think we had one 440 in there, but pretty much all 439s. So past nine miles and just about four miles to go. So we are passing the turn in to the finish. So we got a four, probably about three and a half mile loop to complete and then turn in to the finish here in about 15 minutes to go. Morgan Pearson up front, Connor Manson second. Now in third and fourth is Augustus Mayo and Sammy Chalanga as Lawi Lalang made a concerted effort to try and get right up in, on, on uh, the shoulder of Morgan Pearson in second, but then looked like he had to pull off Frank Lara jumping off the course for a very untimely restroom break right back into the course so now we got eight in this front pack but Lowie Lalang is falling off of that so we're looks like we've got a group of seven Oh, it looks like eight. I was miscounting. Group of eight. We got Morgan Pearson up front, Connor Manson second, Sammy Chalanga third, Nico Montanez fourth, Futsum and Augustus fifth and sixth, Clayton seventh, Lenny Career eighth, Sammy Chalanga, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Lowie Lalang faded off into ninth. And it looks like Lowey is, is broke at this point. Frank Lara, after that quick break, was in, is now in 10th, but he's got about 50 yards to make up. Sidney Gidabudi right off of his shoulder in 11th. Mile 10. Four forty two on that mile. Coming through mile ten. Overall time forty six forty one. Which still puts us just over sixty one flat pace. Now we're gonna be coming up on some of the trailing athletes in the women's race. Just about three miles to go now, and you got Morgan Pearson still leading. Connor Manson second, Sanami Chalanga in third, Augustus Mayo in fourth, Futsum Zenislase fifth, Nico Montanez in sixth, and then seventh and eighth, Lenny Career in. Nico, or sorry, Clayton Young. Not Clayton Murphy, not Nico Young, but Clayton Young. Connor Mance reassuming the lead. Morgan Pearson, Morgan Pearson now sitting just off of his shoulder. Like a little bit of back and forth. A solid mile or two that Connor Mance is taking just a little bit of a reprieve from his leading duties, but now he looks focused and back in the lead again. First 
race of this distance for him. No doubt feeling, feeling out a little bit of the challenge of the half marathon distance. Connor Mance, Morgan Pearson. Morgan Pearson falling back just a little bit now. Settling back into the pack. So we've got Connor Mance up front. Augustus Mayo in second. Sammy Chalanga in third. And it looks like Connor is putting in another little surge here. He's got about two steps on the field and it took them a little while to cover it. So we're down to single file now. Connor Mance, Sammy Chalanga, Augustus Mayo, one, two, three. Nico Montanez in four. Clayton Young in five. Futsum Zenislase in six. Morgan Pearson, seven. And Lenny Career in eight. Passing the final aid station and Augustus Smile, Morgan Pearson trying to cool off a little bit. Nobody really drinking at this point. Just created a slight shift in some of the order here as Connor Mance still leading, but Clayton Young kind of uh, falling into second place there. Sam Chalanga, Nico Montanez, and whoa, big move by Sammy Chalanga. Big move by Sammy Chalanga. Sammy Chalanga making a very, very pointed move here. He's put four or five steps on everybody very quickly and coming up on mile 11. 437. Sammy Chalenga making that move very strong, but then immediately seceding it right back to Connor Mance. So Connor Mance now reassumes the lead. Sammy Chalenga in second has absolutely strung out the field now. They are fully single file, spread out over about 30 meters from one to eight here. So Connor Mance, Sam Chalengo. Nico Montanez, Clayton Young. It looks like your top four, and they have about five, they have about 10 meters now back to Augustus Mayo, Futsum Zenesalase, Lenny Career, and Morgan Pearson. So it looks like your top four have separated. Now it looks like we got kind of three groups here. We got we got four, two, and two, with about ten meters between each of them. As we have only just over a mile and a half to go. Connor Mance, Sam Chalenga, Nico Montanez, Clayton Young. One, two, three, four. Now it's about twenty yards back to Augustus Mayo and Futsum Zenesalase, and another ten back to Lenny Career and Morgan Pearson. Morgan Pearson looking over his shoulder, knows that he's got eighth wrapped up. Jalango with that strong move, probably showing some of that road race experience, knowing it's time to break the field open, try to make this a smaller field as we head towards the finish. So Connor Mance, in the lead, Chalanga in second, 438. 438 on that mile. We got some big money at stake here because in the overall running circuit, Chalanga trails, Chalanga in second trails fourth place Clayton Young by only seven points in the overall circuit. And today there's enough points at stake that if Chalanga wins this, and Clayton stays in fourth, Chalenga will overtake him for second, which is $15,000 as opposed to $7,500 on the overall running circuit. So there's a $7,000, $7,500 difference here. 
$7,500 difference here between Chalanga and Clayton Young as to what happens. If Chalanga stays in second, he won't quite overtake Clayton. So right now, Clayton in a solid fourth. He's not going to be improving on that position. If Clayton remains in fourth, he's now a Connor Mance fan. But Futsum Zenesalase in fifth actually making a pretty strong bid there. It looks like Futsum may have a chance to get up to fourth. But we got Connor Mance in first as we round one of the final turns. Connor Mance, Sam Chalanga, Nico Montanez. Nico also with a good shot to get into that top five for overall running circuit prize money. Now it looks like Connor Mance and Sam Chalanga are going to be 1-2. Nico's just fading off just a little bit. It's going to be a two-man battle here as we head to the finish. So this front pack of four, Connor Mance in first. Chalanga in second. Um, Nico, I'm sorry, Clayton Young in fourth, Nico Montagna is in third. So Connor Mance in the lead, Chalanga in second, 438 on that mile. We got some big money at stake here because in the overall running circuit, Chalanga trails, Chalanga in second trails fourth place Clayton Young by only seven points in the overall circuit and today there's enough points at stake that if Chalanga wins this and Clayton stays in fourth Chalanga will overtake him for second which is fifteen thousand dollars as opposed to seventy five hundred dollars on the overall running circuit so there's a seven thousand dollar seventy five hundred dollar difference here $7,500 difference here between Chalanga and Clayton Young as to what happens. If Chalanga stays in second, he won't quite overtake Clayton. So right now, Clayton in a solid fourth. He's not going to be improving on that position. If Clayton remains in fourth, he's now a Connor Mance fan. But Futsum Zenesalase in fifth actually making a pretty strong bid there. It looks like Futsum may have a chance to get up to fourth, but we got Connor Mance in first as we round one of the final turns. Connor Mance, Sam Chalanga, Nico Montanez. Nico also with a good shot to get into that top five for overall running circuit prize money. Now it looks like Connor Mance and Sam Chalanga are going to be 1-2. Nico's just fading off just a little bit. It's going to be a two-man battle here as we head to the finish. Coming around the final curve, what a debut for Connor Mance. He will be your U.S. Half Marathon champion. What a debut. Connor Mance, Sammy Chalanga about 20 yards back in second. He's going to break an hour. One hour, or sorry, break 101. One hour 55, Sammy Chalanga in second. Third, Nico Montanez. So Nico Montanez will move into the top five in the U.S. running circuit. And Clayton Young in fourth. He will maintain second place in the U.S. running circuit. Futsum Zenesalase is in fifth. Augustus Mayo coming through in sixth. And Lenny Career in seventh. Morgan Pearson will be in eighth. Some great racing by those eight, working together for most of the race. And we got ninth and tenth will be coming in shortly. Here comes ninth place. Frank Lara. There he is, Frank with the untimely Untimely restroom break needed. Just a couple miles to go. Worked his way back into ninth place overall. Great job, Frank. And tenth will be Lowy Lalang. So 
So Lowy Lalang in 10th. He will round out your top 10 today at the USA TF Half Marathon Championships. And Eric Hamer coming in in 11th, just behind him. Thank you for watching the 2021 USATF Half Marathon Championships. Your champion today, Connor Mance. Last two races for him, NCAA Championship and a USATF Championship to begin his running career with Nike. Thank you so much for tuning in.